Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy, Bobby, and we're back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be um, doing a starter guide. And hopefully it goes great, because this is my fourth time doing this video. I don't know why. Um, but yeah, in the starter guide, I'm going to just basically be showing you how to just you know go through the game. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Chinesey. And we're going to keep move, moving easy. All right. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the family. We're going to roll to 20K subscribers. I'm going to keep it nice and short. And... Alright, welcome back guys. In this video I'm gonna be showing you how to you know start the game, just a little basis, you know, from spawning your ship and you know leveling up. So now the way this game works, we have the blue quest and then we got the yellow quest. The yellow quests are, you know, bad to beater quests that you can repeat. And then the blue quests are like storyline quests. Now this is not a blue quest. Obviously it's just a way for you to spawn a ship now. When you come into the game, you're gonna buy a ship. Like let's say if you buy a ship from over here, you're not you're probably not gonna know how to spawn your ship. You just gotta come over here, go say build inventory, and you can spawn your ship, you know, quick, easy peasy little lemon squeezy stuff that yeah, you know, it's a little stuff that you need to know. And then whenever you get to an island, if you go right here, you can buy the next island's um, hose. So if you click on it, it's always going to be 50 belly. It doesn't increase the price. All right. Well, ne my next island is Barati. And then once you come over here, bro, whichever quest is like the starting quest, it's going to... You can repeat these quests too. Like, it's not like you can't repeat them. You can always repeat these quests. These... These blue quests, you could repeat them. You could do them over and over and over and over again until you get to a level you want. Or you can, you know, just do like a band of beater quest, like I said. Or you could fight these NPCs, kill like five of them, you know, call it a day. But you got quests like this where it tells you to deliver something, and then you talk to that person, and then that person sends you back to the other person, which gives you a little bit of BXP. Doesn't really do much, but it gives you something. It's better to band of beat though, I ain't gonna lie. If you're trying to like really level, level up, yeah, it's better. Or until you get to like a boss quest. Oh, another thing in this game, bro. Whenever you do the boss quest, it literally spawns the boss right after. So there's like no cooldown on like how many times you can fight that boss, bro. So getting drops ain't gonna be that hard, bro. You ain't gonna have to wait five minutes, twenty minutes, bro, just to get one drop. Nah, you can sit there and farm the boss all day for as long as you want to, for as fast as you beat the boss. So that's that's pretty great. Another thing for stats. Oh yeah, y'all gonna need this one. I ain't gonna lie to you. So. To equip something is you gotta click um M1 twice on it and then to unequip it you have to hit M2. So right click to unclick uh, to unequip and then two left clicks to equip. Yeah get that. Alright. There you go, there you go. I have to show you on the camera real quick. And then you know for devil fruits, devil fruits spawn hold on, let me, I gotta confirm this for y'all, I gotta confirm this for y'all. Yo, Brody. Yo, bro, bro. Does Devil Fruit spawn every hour? Confirming it right now while they dancing. You ain't doing the gritty. Oh, uh, are you there? I think Devil Fruit spawn every hour. And if you're a tester, bro, you get Devil Fruit notifiers. So if you didn't get tester, bro, then you missed out, bro. You know what I'm saying? And it was pretty easy. They made it really easy to get tester, so. Hey, you should have you should have been here. You should, you should have been here. And they also have nine fruits currently in the game. I'm currently using diamond. You know, hopefully that changes in the future. And I have electro fighting style. They currently have hockey. For fruits that they have, they have... They have Hihei. They have Mera. They have Candle. They have Weapon Fruit. They have Chop, Bomb, um, Spin. What else? Diamond. Yeah, I said that. Um, what else? What is this? Paw. They, yeah, they, they, they have Paw in the game. I said Chop. Oh, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, that's nine. That's nine fruits. I said all nine fruits right there. There you go. And then we got races. Races range from... We got Human, Fishman. We then, then we have Skypean. And we got Shark. Wait, I said Fishman right yeah, Fishman, then we got Mink, and then the rarest one, which is Oni. Well, and above Oni, one that's, you feel me, I can't obtain anymore, which is, you know, a tester's, a tester's race, which is, you know, the Sulong race. 
The Su Long Race is currently what I'm using. I ain't gonna lie, your boy got blessed, got lucky last minute because it was literally about to remove it out the game and your boy clutched up last minute. We clutched up last minute, bro. We clutched up last minute and, you know, we got it. We got it, bro. We got it. So now we're elite. So basically what a Su Long is in the game is a uh, mink with Oni stats, you know, a little bit. A little bit juiced up, you know what I'm saying? A little bit juiced up, no cap. Because we get to use the electro fighting style too. But you know, I use I switch my horns to make it, you know, for my blood Oni members out there, so we can keep it popping for real. And I think that's about it. I think that's all I need to know. The races, the spawn ship, the fruits that y'all can obtain, all oh, the way that stats work. Okay, so now when you level up, right? The levels only affect your health and your stamina. It doesn't affect nothing else. There's no stats in this game. You know, you don't get like no stats. You got the shop, which is right here. You know, just the regular stuff. You got your mastery, your drop boost, your EXP, your belly boost. Then you got the game passes, and you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You don't have like no stats. But we're gonna tell you exactly how it works. So, like I said before, levels give you health and stamina. That's it. Now, if you want to increase a damage on something, which this is gonna allow you to make your build in the future, depending on what you want to use. And then for mastery, we'll have a whole separate video for that. If y'all want to, you know, learn how to get y'all mastery up there pretty fast. But I'll just throw a little hint out there, bro. Just most likely it's going to be fighting a boss. So, you know what I'm saying? But for those people that are not watching this and they want to, you know, a separate video, we're going to go ahead and still make that separate video for y'all. You know, do a quick run through. But as you can see, every weapon here has a master. You have the electro style, which is at two. We got the sword, which is at five. And max level for mastery is um, 100 max level in game is 100 they currently have a lot of bosses in the game they also have weapon drops that you can get from various bosses every boss in this game drops a weapon quite literally i don't think i've ran into a boss that doesn't drop a weapon and it's unique too because you have to add, you actually have to like do a quest they have a whole cutscene and all that stuff which i'm probably gonna they should probably have a way to turn that off if you're just trying to get into the game and like really get into that grind mode if there should be a way to turn it off i'm saying because when it like repeats itself over and over and over and over again, it, it could it could get repetitive. Blah blah blah. I think that's about it. And then you know what? I'll show you a quick little Su Long Su Long um, showcase. But why not? Why not? Why not? Electro, I mean, electro fighting style showcase. Why not? You know, a little something spice it up. I'm gonna go beat them up over there though. I'm about to start with them. I'm about to start with them. I'm about to start with them because I'm feeling brave. Hold on, I just fell over. Ooh, 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 get packed up. Mm, head crack. Mm, 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 mm. You saw that, bro? Yeah, yeah, bro, y'all saw his score, bro? Mm. Get away from me. Get away from me. Bop, 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 bop. Evil. Gotta grab him, you heard? Come here. Mm, 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 mm. Packing him up, put him in a split and dip. It's the door. Nah, that move does damage. For me, pack them up. He on the floor now. We got to carry him. Carry him, bro. Carry him like he a baby, all right? Yeah, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, join the family. We on the road. We on the road to... <laughs> bro, we on the road to 20K subs. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if this video was helpful, all right? All right, all these are testers, so I'm assuming they all so long race, bro. I ain't gonna cap to you. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. But yeah, bro. Brush your heads, take care. Because yeah, I'll catch y'all in the next video, all right? And my damn camera froze. Fantastic. Fantastico. Bruh, my camera froze. Why? Why does it do this to me, bro? I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna restart the video, but <sighs> hope y'all enjoy, man. I hope y'all enjoy this because this is what I had to deal with literally for the, like the last the, the last five hours. But I'll catch y'all in the next video, though. This come move, this all that matters. This right here. All right, peace, eek is out.